Good afternoon. Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2008 Kia Amiga sedan. Um, starting at the front of the car, really well presented motor car, this in a silver. Uh, Juco's in really tidy order. There's actually not a blemish coming down the right hand side of the car. Uh, both uh, factory alloys on the right hand side are actually unmarked from new. Um, not, even, not even a sign of a scuff on those alloys, which is really good. Um, very consistent with the Juco of the car as well. Coming around to the back in the boot area, um, once again very similar to the right hand side actually. I'm quite impressed with the uh, Juco of this car. I, uh, I can't seem to find a blemish right around it, which is uh, probably a credit to the previous owner actually. Coming down the left hand side and uh, the alloys on, on this side of the car as well, predominantly you would expect if there was a scuff anywhere it would be on those alloys, uh, but once again they're unmarked as well. It really presents well this motor car from the outside actually. Moving around under the bonnet of the car now, uh, we come to the ever reliable uh, GMH V6 motor. Uh, the car gives you uh, 180 kilowatts of power. Um, the beautiful thing about this car in the six cylinder, 10.9 litres per 100 case. So considering there are 73 litre tank in this uh, particular model car, you're going to expect to get around 660 litres out of a tank of petrol. That's really good motoring for a family sized uh, six cylinder Just coming motor back car. around to the boot area, uh, two ways to open the boot, either by the release in the glove box of the car or by the remote itself. Both factory keys, just a simple press of a button releases the boot. Really good size area for storage. You'll notice also I have actually dropped the centre of the back seat down, so in the event you need to store something quite long, um, you've got the flexibility there as well. Gas struts on the actual boot lid keeps them well out of your way, so it doesn't impede any storage space. Now moving into the interior of the Amiga, we'll just run through a few of the features of the car. On your steering wheel, you have all your audio controls. It is important to note, being the Amiga and the base model, even though you do have the actual Bluetooth button, uh, this car did not come with uh, Bluetooth factory fitted. Uh, steering wheel, of course, is adjustable. Most of the Holdens, you do have the vertical and telescopic adjustment. Really good to set yourself up for a comfortable drive. Moving through the centre of the dashboard, standard Blaupunt CD player, very good quality sound. You have all your heating and cooling controls down below that, just above your T-bar there. Moving through the console, power windows and mirrors come standard. And we'll also just have a bit of a flick through the service books. Really good service history, privately owned car. And the services are stamped pretty much at every interval required all the way through up to the current service, which we've actually carried out of our service department here. As you can see with the interior, all the carpets and all the seats um, inside the car actually are like brand new. It's really well been looked after this car. Yeah, that's pretty much me done. Man. Thanks very much for taking the time to have a look at a uh, walk around video of the 2008 Fiat Amiga. As I mentioned originally when we were walking around the outside of the car and even looking internally at the way it's been uh, maintained, um, a lot to like about this car. Really impressed with the way it, way it has been uh, looked after so far in its life and uh, guarantee that uh, you're going to get the same reliability. If you've got any other questions about uh, the vehicle, feel free to give us a call on 9907 0555. Once again, thanks very much for your time watching the video and having